Child Custody Video about child custody An introduction to 2B to BS Just briefly for those of you that I've not had the honor of meeting I'm from Amarillo, Texas I have three, three children I have sons 23 and 19 and a daughter that's 14 and I had a life-changing experience eight years ago, and even though I was an attorney, I ran into the family court system, and a Texas district judge with a stroke of a pen, for no reason whatsoever, took my three children away from me, took me out of their lives, and I didn't see them at all for two years. I've asked God from time to time why he would do that to me and my children, and don't know that I have the answers, but something that seems very plausible is so that I would do something truly worthwhile with my life. I have done oil and gas law and real estate development law, and I dabbled a little bit in family law, just enough to know that it's like proctology is in the medical profession. I thought to myself, why would anybody want to make a living like that? And uh, I was really not prepared for the power that a family court judge has. And I won't share my sad tale of woe with you, but I did spend several years in the appellate process believing that appellate judges would make right what a family court judge had done wrong. They didn't. The Texas Supreme Court denied my petition for review, but in that process I decided to do something truly worthwhile with my life. And my prayer to the God that I serve is that I will live long enough and that I can see with my own eyes this family court system torn down and rebuilt with something else that does not do to parents and children what this system does to our children and the parents that deserve to be with them. I want to take a moment and tell you, some of you who are not seeing your children, that there is hope. Uh, there was extreme alienation in my case. My younger son, for about four years, would have nothing to do with me because he'd been polluted with the lies and the propaganda that I walked away, that I didn't care, that I had no concern for them. I'm now as close to that son as any of my three children. And yet I, I can really, I can really, my heart goes out to those of you, and there are many of you that don't see your children enough or don't see your children at all and this young son, at one point, we had a chance encounter at the back of a convenience store. And when he came around the corner and saw that it was me, and I said, hello, Daniel, I love you, son, he turned on his heel and didn't say a word, and he walked away. That son now calls me two or three times a week. And it's a glorious thing when those hard, broken relationships begin to heal. And I want to encourage those of you who are hurting because you don't have the relationship with your child or children that you deserve and that you want to have, stay the course. Never give up. Pray for them. Love them. Tell them you love them even when they insult you. They will come around. And I, I used to have people tell me that, and it was like gravel in my mouth. It's like, I don't want to hear that. You know. But I, I share it with you and I hope that it will encourage you a little bit. Don't ever give up on your kids. Never. Never. Um, I want to tell you that as a father, it was a joy to be reconciled to my three children and it gives me the strength to go on to try and change the system so that no other child has to suffer what my children suffered.